Hi, Rob the Frequentist here. This is how to fix uh, solar lights. Uh, this is a solar security floodlight. Um, it got hit by a football a couple of times, uh, which is why it's got a couple of cable ties put onto it to kind of hold this top bit in place and still keep it sort of semi-rotatable. And a, a football hit it again, it started dangling from wires so and stopped working. So I was thinking about how to potentially investigate where maybe some wires have come out and maybe fix it using some soldering iron. So what I did initially, and I've I started videoing halfway through for, for no sensible reason, uh, but if you can see the back here, there are four screws to the top, to the bottom, unscrewed this, got a screwdriver out, a flathead screwdriver out, pinged the back off, and in doing so, you could see that all the wires were in the right place. And then I started to take this apart, which looks like it can't be taken apart. Um, plot spoiler, it can be taken apart. Again, you've got to get a flathead screwdriver underneath the lip of this, where my finger is, and prise that off, and then do exactly the same with the front panel. Uh, and then you'll see a couple of screws, which if you've got a short crosshead screwdriver, you can be able to take that off, and then it all comes apart. So if you ever think, can I fix this? Is it worth fixing? I always say, yes, you can actually. Um, it's going to go on the tip anyway if you don't, so you've got nothing to lose and you can always, you've always got everything to learn. So you'll join me halfway through pulling this apart and discovering actually I can fix it. So if I can, you can. So hopefully enjoy this video. Hi, it's Rob the Frugalist here. Um, this is a light which I've just disassembled. Um, basically it's got hit by a football and I've taken the screws out of the back of the solar panel here, pulled that apart, found there's a battery that goes along there, but all of the wires are nicely in place. So I've clipped that back in place. I've taken the front off, which um, the front had this on the front of it. Here had this, this on the front of it. Actually, it's the other way around. Um, and then a protective fascia here and uh, just by using this and just tweaking this around here I've managed to remove everything and discovered we do have a loose wire situation and the loose wire situation is a little bit of a mystery uh, but here we go this is why this light's not working and I believe I need to solder these two to these two points here I'm not sure which way round it goes or whether it matters I'm going to take a guess because I have no idea actually how this can go. So I don't know if you can see, but uh, this is where the old solder points are. So I'm going to take a soldering iron and re-wet them to heat them up and hopefully sink these wires in. Um, I'm guessing it's a 50-50 as to where it will work. This may not work. Um, now the pattern for this is red-black. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing there's red here, and that's not red, so I'm going to give it a go at this red here on this bit, which is labelled K3, and I'm going to put the copper wire onto the K4. Um, so, fingers crossed. Now, I can't do a dry test with this. Well, I've tried, it didn't work, so this, this may not work at all. And it's because there's some plastic coating on this, which you can see burning off. Not on that one, so. And I need to put some fresh solder on. Oh, we're on. There we have it. Touch, it's touching. We're on. Next step is this top one.
stay, 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 stay. Okay. They're now soldered in. Who knows if this is going to work? Please work, please work. Because I would have won something. <laughs> Success. See that. So now just be put it all back together again uh, somehow, which will be fun, and I'll get going. Completely wrong way. Let's go in this way. This is how it goes in. And there are two screws. Unos. So if you want to do this, you have to do reverse of what I've done. Right, we're done. So uh, that is how to fix. I wasn't. I didn't. I wish I filmed this from the beginning because it's very exploratory. I had to figure out what was going wrong. But that's how to fix one of your um, kind of like a, a floodlight, which is good for preventing intruders from getting in, etc. Uh, and disco you know, um, how to fix your floodlight. Got hit by a football. That's why. Um, it dangled for a bit and still worked and then stopped working. So my first suspicion was that maybe it was a connection problem. And uh, yeah, it was a connection problem. So uh, I looked in the wrong place to start with, found where it was gone wrong, took a wild guess as to where to solder it, soldered it, and uh, fortunately it worked. So that's a nice little win. Anyone can do this. You can do the same if you've got a soldering iron, a bit of patience, a bit of solder, uh, a screwdriver set and um, a little bit of wherewithal so hopefully that was useful and maybe you don't need to throw that away if it does get broken catch you later bye bye